Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran, اعلموا أنما الحياة الدنيا لعب وله وزينة وتفاخر بينكم وتكاثر في الأموال والأولاد. Know that the life of this world is play, amusement. You know what's very interesting about this ayah is when you break down this ayah, when you break down this ayah from Surah Al-Hadid, you find that this ayah is a is a chronological timeline. Of our life in this world, of the things that matter most to us in this world. Because when we first come into this life, what's the most important thing to us as a child? It's play. If you want to get a present for a little child and you spend a th and you drop a thousand dollars on a Armani suit, they're really not gonna care. But if you spend 50 cents on a rattle, they'll be happy. And this is because what matters most when you first come into this dunya is just, I want to play. Laib. I'lamu annama al hayati dunya laibun wa lahun. And then you get a little bit older and now you're kind of like in, in late elementary, middle school. And now the most important thing to you, anyone who has people in that age, any children in that age group, what's, what's their favorite thing to say? I'm bored. And the reason for that is because at that age, they want to be entertained, constantly stimulated and entertained. And that's because at that point, the most important thing to them is entertainment, amusement. This is called lahu in the Quran. And Allah says, after laib, He says lahu. Laibun wa lahun wa zina. Then you get a little bit older. And what is hubb dunya about when you're in high school? Well, pretty much it's about what you look like, what you're wearing. This is the time when people are so concerned about what they look like that this is when you see spikes in things like eating disorders because what you look like becomes of utmost importance. And so here Allah says zina. Zina is adornment, looking good. Now you get a little bit older. And now it's not so much about your rattles and your video games or even your brand names. Now it's about proving yourself. Now it's about how do I stack up next to someone else? What medical school are you getting into? How are your grades? And now it's tafakhurum baynakum. Now you're trying to show off. You're trying to compete. Then you get established. You get a big house, nice car, and children. And now what is it? وَتَكَاثُرٌ فِي الْأَمْوَالِ وَالْأَوْلَادِ Now it's about getting a lot or competing in the accumulation with regards to money and your children. But what's so interesting here is that Allah says all of this, all of this, He gives us an analogy. See, all of these are halal things. But these are the things we get caught up in. And each person is at a different stage in that dunya. But all of it, All of this stuff that we get so caught up in, it's like a heavy rain that makes the farmer super excited for a while. Because what happens, it brings vegetation. But then what happens to that vegetation? These things that we chase, what happens to it? It starts to crumble, becomes dry and yellow, and then it just becomes nothing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is teaching us that the life of this world isn't meant to be chased. It isn't meant to be loved in that way. And when you take hubb dunya and you fill your heart with it, it actually causes all types of other spiritual diseases. The second disease, which also actually comes out of hubb dunya, is the disease of envy. The disease of envy is destroying our body as an ummah. And now we have social media, right? So that we can really like, really express this disease. And the reason why we have the disease of envy is because we have lost focus of what matters most. And so our competitions and our, our, comp our, our comparisons are all about dunya. 
What does that person look like? What is that person wearing? What kind of car do they have? What kind of house do they have? And so our comparisons are all dunya, dunya, dunya. We've lost sight of what actually matters. And what is the cure for these diseases? Well, the first disease, disease of hubb dunya The disease of hubb dunya is to refocus on the final home. I mentioned this earlier, every single one of us are moving. And anyone who's ever moved before knows that in order to move, you have to furnish the home you're moving to. You have to prepare it. Every single person is moving into their grave. And that's without a shadow of a doubt. But the question is, have you furnished that home? Some of us are going to get to that home and it's going to have no furniture. Some of us are going to get to that home and in fact it's going to have been burnt down. And so the question becomes not whether or not we're moving, it's how does our home look once we get there? And so the cure to hubb dunya is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, attaqu allaha wal tandur nafsum ma qaddamat lighad. Wattaqu allah. Oh you who have believed, have taqwa of Allah, be conscious of Allah, and let everyone know, let everyone be, be aware of what they're putting forth for tomorrow. Plan for that home, because you're going there. The question...